Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Today we're going to be discussing, discussing how you can use the Excel data interpreter to uh, clean up some data that you might have uh, in workbooks or in CSVs where uh, you don't have a nice clean table format in your data. What do I mean by that? Well, here's a workbook which I set up to, uh, to create this sort of a problem for us. You'll see that on this tab, Everything's relatively well aligned, obviously, with the exception of this additional row in here. Uh, on the second tab, it's also quite well aligned, although we're missing a title and we have an additional row. But on this All Data tab, you'll see there's a, a gap at the top. And there's this first table. And then if we scroll across, you'll see that misaligned underneath it, there's actually a second table down here at the bottom, too. So if we read this in as a straight data table, right, you would have uh, this column which would then be blank at the bottom. And then once we got across to this column, column N, and you scroll down, you see there will be data in it. So this is not gonna work in a traditional Tableau format just by directly connecting to it. So let me show you how we can, uh, how we can fix that. So this is a uh, Microsoft Excel document. I'm gonna jump in here and open it up for us. Uh, now you'll see if we import the first two tabs, this is the to the second tab, that looks fine. And the first tab, that looks fine as well. But if we take this all data tab and pull it in, you'll see that on the surface, it looks okay. But if we scroll down here, you'll see there's a bunch of nulls. And if we scroll across with the nulls, you'll see that we have our second table appearing underneath. Now, Tableau has already taken out all of the lines that were null between the two tables, right? You remember there were some yeah, there's some lines up here at the top. Tableau's taken those out. And there were some lines between the tables as well. So if we go down here and look at those, you can see down here between the tables, Tableau's already decided that that's not relevant, which is good. But really we want that to be two separate tables. So one of the things that we can do is we can click on this data interpreter tab. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna look at your workbook and try and figure out where the tables are placed. So you can see, instead of now having just the three tabs in our Excel workbook, we've actually got two more that have been created, and these are ranges on the All Data tab. The All Data tab was the one that was a bit of a mess. So let's take that one out, and then let's look at this first All Data tab. And you can see this now only has that yearly data that we had at the top of the tab. Let's take that back and add the other one. This one has the quarterly data that we had down in the bottom right hand side of the tab. So it's, it's containing this bit. Excel, oh, sorry, um, Tableau rather also allows you to review the results. So if we click on this review the results button, this is going to open us up a new workbook uh, in Excel. In my case, it's going to use open office because that's what I have set as the default. And it will give you the results of the data interpreter. So you can see that anything red is column headers, green is values, and there's a couple of other things down here as well. Um, really the first two tabs, they don't matter significantly. What is interesting is this uh, all data tab. So we can see here that it's gone ahead and found this first row as columns and then everything else is green. But really what's interesting is when you look at this all data subtitle, subtables tab, you can see that there's a border around this very first table. And then if we scroll down, there's a border around this second table as well. And it's broken those out onto two new tabs in our workbook. This first tab is everything that we had in the top, uh, more or less the top left starting in A6. And then this is everything that we had in that bottom right table. And it's broken those out separately so that we can treat them secondly. The other thing that it does, which I quite like, is that it turns uh, all of the NAs into nulls. So instead of having an NA text value, you will have a null value instead for that particular field. Uh, with that, we can take one of those and we can uh, use it just like a regular data source to uh, build our visualization. So if you have any questions, then please leave them in the comments. Uh, if you like what you hear, then go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, we will see you next time.